Hey, Strike fans, Nasa's back with you for part four of the air to air radar series for the F 15E Strike Eagle by Rasbam. In the previous episodes, we uh, talked about the, uh, the basics of the radar. Uh, we talked about the manual acquisition and twiz modes. And then in part three, I uh, put it together in a scenario for you, hopefully to make it make sense in terms of a, uh, a scenario-based flow for BVR uh, and working through the different modes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk about the auto acquisition modes uh, w that we're going to use in a, more of a short-range fight. So uh, you probably know these by in other aircraft, uh, if you fly the Viper or Hornet, uh, the ACM modes. Uh, in the Strike Eagle, we don't use that term. We call them the auto acquisition modes. So it's basically the same, same, uh, but uh, different. So the five main modes that uh, we have for the uh, auto acquisition modes is super search, vertical scan, boresight, and long range boresight. And then the fifth one is, uh, is the auto guns mode or, or just guns mode. Uh, each one has their own uh, individual uh, times and, and places that, would, that you'd use them. And I'll go through uh, each one of those um, as we go through. Before I do that, though, I want to just show you some HOTAS real quick. So just so you understand when I use the term uh, auto ac switch, uh, down here on the stick, uh, this is the auto acquisition switch or auto ac switch. Uh, and in the strike heel, it's just a three-way switch. It's forward, aft, or just down as a, as a straight down press. So those are the, the three motions that you're going to use primarily for the auto act modes. Uh, use them for a lot of the other radar modes as well, but as the name implies, it's the auto act switch, uh, so therefore uh, we use them for the auto acquisition modes. So if you just remember forward, aft, and down are the, the three main motions, and then we also have a, uh, if you press it momentarily for less than one second, that's uh, just the normal uh, forward or aft. Uh, if you press it and hold it down, that's called a long press. If you hold it for greater than a second, it'll start doing uh, different things with that uh, switch press. So there is what I'm talking about when we talk about uh, the auto act switch for the auto acquisition modes. So let's jump into the uh, into the radar in the HUD. These are primarily visual modes, so we're, we're going to concentrate on what they look like in the HUD. Uh, typically when you're using these, you're not really staring down at the radar, although you can look down uh, to QC the lock. Uh, but primarily, we're going to use the, uh, the HUD. I'll keep the radar up just so you can see uh, as the, uh, the radar grabs the lock. So just to quickly go through the, the modes, uh, uh, the first one is going to be uh, Super Search, uh, and that's a short press forward on the auto act switch. So if I go uh, forward press, again, take uh, command of the radar, and again, it's uh, castle left, and then I get the in command bars on the radar, and then I can start using it. So uh, we might get a snag here as the, uh, as the strike eagle flies by the radar. But it's basically just forward on the auto act mode, and then notice it snags uh, him as he goes by. I'll flush him out. And when I say flush, that is down in the auto act mode, and notice it returns me back to a normal range while search mode that I can then uh, do manual acquisition. But if I go forward on the uh, auto act mode or auto act switch, it puts me in a, a 20 by 20 scan. Uh, basically, the, the HUD uh, field of view is what we're looking for, for for this. So if I see somebody out there, this is probably one of the most used, used modes is the uh, super search mode to basically get a snag uh, anywhere within the HUD. This mode is good out to 10 miles uh, and then uh, for max range and then a min range is uh, 500 feet. So you can get in pretty close and use the, uh, the super search. Another couple sub modes it has, and notice it snagged it out there. So he's out at five and a half miles as he goes by. So again, I'll flush out, I'll go auto act down to get rid of it. And then I'll go auto act and then go what we call auto acquisition uh, bias up. And the way I do that is with the TDC. So once I'm in, in uh, normal auto act mode, um, let me uh, get out of that. So normal auto act mode, and then I go TDC up to bias it up, or I can go TDC down to bias the scan down. So we also call the smiley face up or smiley face down. Uh, so happy face, sad face as it goes down uh, in there. So let me go auto act. So what this does is it shows that it's biasing the scan upwards. And I can see that on the, on the radar scope itself. So it's all biased up, but still uh, within kind of centered on the HUD in, in terms of lateral. And this, the circle is kind of misrepresented uh, in the real jet. This is just to show you that biased up, but it's really a lot higher in the HUD. It's pretty much from the top of the HUD and further up that 20 by 20 circle. And same thing, if I go down, it's actually quite a ways further down from the HUD, basically looking down. And then as he flies through the HUD, you can see that it'll snag him 
uh, and then we'll get a, um, a good scan or a good snag here. And then you can see uh, once once it snags it, we're just in a normal single target track, and then nothing is different there. You can see it's just a standard single target track. The other mode is uh, if I go forward again. So if I'm in super search, I can go forward one more time, uh, and that will put me in boresight. And that is a, a four degree circle that's centered on the water line, uh, out to ten miles with a minimum range of 500 feet, just like in the the regular super search. So again, this is this is a good mode if I want to if I can see a guy, and there, I've got multiple targets within the field of view, and I want to be very discriminant. I can uh, uh, move the nose and put it down so I can show you now. So as I move the nose to put it out here on the target, so bam, I uh, am able to snag it and then uh, put it on pause again. And I'm back into a, uh, a normal uh, super, uh, single target track. And again, I can uh, flush, and if I just go super search. Forward again is Boresight, and it becomes just an endless loop. I can just keep pressing short press forward, go super search, Boresight, super search, Boresight, and so on. So if I want to go to a long-range Boresight, uh, what I have to do now is I have to uh, press and hold or do a long press on the uh, auto act switch. And now if I press forward and hold, I go into a uh, two-degree circle, and now this is good out to 40 miles. So if I see... Like, for instance, I see the AWACS out there, and he's conning at a long range beyond my 10 miles all the way out to 40 miles. Uh, I can go into that long-range bore site, and I can use it to snag him. The downside is, is this is now a little bit, uh, the min range is a little bit shorter. Uh, I can only go out to 3,000 feet. And then notice out there, so long-range bore site, notice it's snagging him. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the jet's nose off of him. I'll hold and press into long-range bore site. And then I'll basically drive the nose to put on uh, on that target out there. So now it's going into a uh, that long range bore sight. So the the acquisition modes are are really good for uh, being discriminate. Again, I'll put it back on pause. Um, super search is basically snag the first thing that it sees out ahead of me. If I want to be a little bit more discriminate, I'm going to go into probably just bore sight. And now I can move my nose around to, to uh, grab the the bad guy that maybe is. Um, uh, either chasing my wingman around or my wingman is trying to saddle up and I can get a, a good discriminant lock on it. The final mode is uh, vertical scan. So now this is, uh, if I go auto act aft, if, if you remember all the other auto act modes up to this point were all forward, either short press or long press. If I go uh, auto act aft, I go into a, a super cert or I go into a vertical scan mode. And that is uh, basically, uh, let me do that again. I'll uh, wait till the AWACS flies by. In fact, let me just take my nose off him so I don't keep snagging him. So back on pause, and if I go aft, it'll it'll put a, a, a vertical scan, basically from 5 degrees above the waterline up to 55 degrees, and you can see that scan here. Uh, and it's a very narrow scan. So now what I'm doing here is I'm uh, using the, the lift vector of the aircraft to rotate the nose. And now I'm going to move that to where the... Uh, let me move up so I can see the AWACS. So let me go vertical scan again. And now I notice I can snag him uh, well above the uh, the canopy bow uh, if I see somebody up there um, to get. So again, five degrees to 55 degrees. Again, this is uh, just like the other basic auto act modes. This is good out to uh, 10 miles and uh, at a min range of um, uh, 500 feet. So I'll put it back on scan. I'll go back into... Um, uh, search mode. So that is the uh, vertical scan. And then the final one is the uh, is the gun scan. I'll put it on pause here for a minute because uh, this is a bit of a unique scan. So right now I'm in a weapon select switch uh, forward. Uh, notice I'm in uh, uh, basically uh, MRM, Mike Romeo Mike, uh, or medium range missile. Uh, you can see I've got AMRAM selected. If I go uh, weapon select switch center, uh, I go into a um, uh, SRM or short range missile, and if I go guns, I go into a, uh, a guns mode, or this is uh, what's called auto guns. Uh, and again, it, it's snagging the first thing it sees out there, uh, so I'll, I'll see if I can move the, the scan away so I can talk about it before I snag somebody. So what this does, so now the beauty is that this is, once I'm in guns mode, uh, it's snagging the first thing it sees within the scan, uh, but the key here is notice I can move with the TDC 
on the throttle, I can move the scan left and right, and I can also move it up and down. And notice every time it snags something, I can uh, flush to search. So just go TD or uh, go auto act switch down. But the key I want to show you here, let me take the nose off of him so we don't keep snagging him, and I'll uh, I'll go out here so there's nobody in the uh, in the way. So let me uh, let me roll wings level. So basically keep snagging somebody. So anyway, uh, as annoying that as that is, what I want to show you is that TDC controls everything on the uh, in the auto gun. So now, if I want to set the elevation high or low, I'm not using the L wheel anymore like I do in a normal radar uh, search or twiz. I'm using the TDC itself. So if you notice, the elevation scan is controlled by the TDC up and down. So if I go up the scope, it's moving the elevation up. And if I go down the scope, notice it's moving the... the elevation or the radar scan down so now i'm looking below the nose of the jet and if i want to uh, go down and right i would move the tdc down and right if i want to go up and right i move the the tdc up into the uh, up into that corner same thing if i want to go left and and high and then left and low or if i want to if i want to center it i bring it to the center of the, of the scope the guns uh, auto act range is uh, is out to uh, 15 miles, so it'll snag anything out to 15 miles. It'll show search contacts out to 20, but it won't lock them up. Uh, and then the min range for guns is out to uh, 3,000 feet. So you can, so it's it's a very useful mode, especially if you're coming off a, an air to ground target and you don't know where the bad guys are. Uh, you can slam the guns up and up into the uh, into the turn, uh, and oftentimes you have pre-briefed. Um, uh, uh, scan uh, contracts with your wingman. So, for instance, as I come off target, the, the, the lead may go up and left, and then the, uh, the wingman would go down and, and right uh, to th then search a, a volume of airspace uh, a lot better. So let's, let's go ahead and take that off, and we'll see if we can snag somebody now on purpose uh, as, we, uh, as we move the jet around. So right now I'm keeping it kind of level in a, in a, uh, in a turn, so I've, I'm biasing the search into the turn. And notice while I'm uh, not locked to anybody, I'm in a funnel mode because I've got G's on the airplane. So let's see if we can snag the AWACS out there out to uh, 20 miles. He's at 30,000 feet, so I want to bias the scan up a little bit. And we'll see if we can get him uh, out there. Also notice if I'm in guns mode, I can use any of the other uh, auto act modes. So I can go, actually there's a tanker right ahead of me, so let's, uh, let's snag him. I'll move the scan down and right, and that should, I might be a little too close for him. Let's go back to the AWACS. So we'll go up and left, and hopefully the uh, the guns will uh, will snag it. He may be just a little bit outside of 15 miles, so let me use long-range foresight. Yep, so he's uh, 11 miles. Let's see, the, the gun should snag him at uh, 15 miles. Yep, so there's guns, so he's at 10 miles. And there's my, my gun scan. Also notice I can go to any other, let me take the guns off of him real quickly. Um, it just is gonna keep snagging him. So notice I can go into uh, any other uh, search mode. Looks like it's just gonna keep snagging him. So that's what the gun's pipper looks like uh, as, I, uh, as I fly. And the other cool thing is once I have a lock, I can go coolly switch up on the throttle and I can switch between a funnel mode, which I am right now, or there's the, uh, the gun director site, GDS, and you can see the difference right here in the HUD. So there's GDS. If I go coolly up, I can switch back and forth between GDS and funnel. And that's actually the GDS funnel right there, and that's a hybrid of both. If I'm just in search, it's just in normal uh, in funnel mode. So if I go up, that's funnel with the GDS, and then that's the pure GDS mode. So let me take my uh, my scan off of the uh, AWACS just so I can do one more thing to show you. So if I'm in guns mode, I can also use any of the other auto acts. So notice I'm just in gun search or auto guns, and now I can go forward on the auto act and go super search. I can go forward again and go bore sight. I can go forward again and go long range bore sight. Notice I'm still in guns the entire way, and I can go aft to go into um, vertical scan. So just because you're in guns doesn't prevent you from using any of the uh, other auto act modes. All right, so that's it. 
um, that's it for me. This is not so out. Uh, and again, that's a, a really good primer on the uh, on the short range auto act modes.